Hallelujah. I just want you to give me a few minutes. I want you to get your Bibles out. Turn with me to Deuteronomy chapter 32. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse number 4. My wife is making me wear these gloves this morning. She brought them. She said, baby, you're going to wear these gloves. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 4. I've been in the church a mighty long time. When I was when I was born, I moved into the back of a church when I was born. Brother Weather, will you hand me that rope so I won't get in front of these mics? I moved into the back of a church on 20, 1226 Oak Street here in Abilene, Texas. And so I've been in church ever since. Don't let me decapitate you, Brother Weather. And all of my life, I've been around church and been around preachers and the preaching of the Word of God. And in that time, I've heard some things that are not right and are not correct. And I'm, I'm not about to mess with any of that this morning, but there's something that I want to mess with. John 8, 44 tells us that the devil is the liar and the father of it. And he would love to get a lie in your mind about how you are to serve the Lord. You serve the Lord this way, and it's the wrong way. The Bible says to serve the Lord with gladness. A lot of folks serve the Lord with sadness, but it says serve the Lord with gladness. Have you believe say amen? I don't need any drugs if I've got gladness. I don't, I don't need nothing if I've got gladness. Come on, have you with me say amen? I don't, I don't need anything the world has. I don't need anything the world's about because... In Jesus is joy unspeakable yes. and full of glory. Can, can I get a witness in this place? Yes. And the other day in my prayer time, I was just worshiping the Lord, giving Him praise and glory, and I actually saw what I'm fixing to preach about to you this morning. Deuteronomy chapter 32, 4. He is the rock. His work is perfect. All of His ways are judgment. A God of truth. Without iniquity, just and right is He. Amen. I want you to notice those first words. He is the rock. Say that with me. He is the rock. Come on, let's shout it together. He is the rock. I want you to notice that it didn't say He is the rope. Right. Yeah, come on, brother. Right. Right. Can I get a witness in yeah. this place? Yeah. For some reason, some kind of teaching, some kind of something has gotten into the body of Christ that makes them think that God's hanging down this magical rope from heaven and it's our job just to hang on. Right. Yeah, come on. Right. 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 Is anybody in this place? Yeah. 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 It doesn't say He's the rope. It never tells me to hang on, but somehow the enemy has infused this into the body of Christ. Oh, I'm just hanging on. I'm just, I'm just hanging on for dear life. I'm hanging on for my money. I'm hanging on for my marriage. I'm hanging on for my healing. I'm hanging on to God. Nowhere in the Bible are we asked to hang on to the things of God. Can I get a bit of In fact, if I'm hanging on, I'm using my own strength. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. I can't be hanging on. That's me using my strength and my mentality and my energy and my, 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 me, 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 me. It's no longer I that lives, but Christ that lives in me in the life I now. Living I want to talk to people that are hanging on that somehow you grew up and you were taught to hang on. It's wrong. It's not right. It's not of God. You can't make it hanging on. Can I get a witness in this place? You may not like what I'm fixing to tell you, but every 12-step program is you hanging on. Right. Yeah. It ain't going to do you no good. A dog will return to its vomit. It's not hanging on to a 12-step program. It's not hanging on to some kind of this and some kind of that. It's not hanging on at all. There is not a rope. There is a rock. I've got to get delivered from hanging on. I've got to get delivered from hanging on. I was taught wrong and I can't hang on. I gotta stand on. Yeah. 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 
Is anybody with me? Let's go to the book of Psalms. I'm going to put the scripture right up here. Hallelujah. The book of Psalms, chapter 27. One thing have I desired of the Lord, that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord, and to inquire in His temple. Look at verse number 5. Hallelujah. For in the time of trouble He shall hide me in His pavilion. In the secret of His tabernacle shall He hide me. He shall set me on a rock. It doesn't say that He's going to let down a rope when I'm in trouble. Come on. He doesn't say that I'm the time not on the end of it and hang on. Right. Hallelujah. That's me using my own strength, my own energy, yeah. my own mentality. Yeah. That's me trying to make it. Right. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 We've got to get rid of it in the name of Jesus. Yeah. It said when trouble comes, don't hang on to the rope. It says that he has provided me a rock. A rock. A rock. Hanging on. How can you pick up a shield of faith hanging on? Above all, take the shield of faith. Who with you shall be able to preach all the fighting back? Everything the world offers you is hanging on to something. It's time to quit hanging on to that stuff. Hanging on to that junk. Trying to think you can hang on to the Lord. It's a lie. You can't hang on to God. You can't hang on to the things of God. Oh yes, you can touch the hem of His garment, baby. But He's provided you a rock in a weary land. A snake by day and defense by night. Can I get a witness in this place? Somebody said amen. Psalms chapter 40. Psalms chapter 40, verse number 1. I waited patiently for the Lord. And He inclined unto me. <laughs> and He heard my cry. Verse number 2. He, He. Somebody shout he. 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 Not me. He. he. This is me. I don't need me. I need he. Yeah. Come on. He brought me out of a horrible pit. Yes. Out of the miry clay. Yes. And he set my feet on a rock. Yes. And he established my goings. Yes. And he put a new song in my mouth. Yes. Even praise to God. Yes. My goings will never be established hanging on. Never. Yeah. Never. You know what you're hungry for? You're hungry for God to make a way. You're hungry for God to establish your footsteps. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. His word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. You ain't going nowhere. Hanging on. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you know people right now that all they're doing is hanging on? Yeah. Hanging on to their marriage. Hanging on to their sanity. Trying to hang on to enough money to pay their bills. Trying to hang on in life. Just trying to hang on. I'm hanging on, Pastor. I'm hanging on. Are you with me? It's a lie from the devil. Come on. It's a lie that's gotten into the church of the living God. Which should be the pillar and the ground. The pillar. The pillar and the ground of the truth. Hallelujah. And nowhere does the Bible tell us to hang on. We have songs that tell us to hang on. We have sermons that tell us to hang on. We have songs that tell us to hang on. And we need to get rid of every cotton picking one of them. Yeah. Because we wait for the Lord. He inclines unto us. And when He does, He sets our feet on a rock. And He never hangs down a rope. And then once you get on the rock, listen to me. Once you get on the rock, you cannot get your way established. Your marriage will never be established. Your financial business, nothing will become established until you get on the rock and then He will establish your way. He will establish your life. He will establish your body. He will establish your health. He will establish your victory. He will establish your life. Somebody give the Lord a Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm 
to say it's time to get delivered from this road. Do you know that people that don't get delivered from hanging on, many times take it and tie it around their neck and destroy themselves with the very rope that they're trying to hang on. Yeah. Somebody with me. Yeah. I heard of that Kennedy woman this week. Saw the house that she lived in. Saw all the things that she had. The multi-millions of dollars that the Kennedy woman had. But at 52 years old, walked inside the house and took the rope that she was trying to hang on to life with and wrapped it around her neck and killed herself at 52 years old because of drugs, because of alcohol, because of depression. She tried every step in the world, baby, but it ain't hanging on to some kind of junk like that. It's getting your life back on the rock, Jesus yeah. Christ. for you to hang on. He didn't loose you from bondage to hang on. He set you free to stand on. Having done all to stand, stand. Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a shout out for you. Amen. You will lose your marriage if you're just hanging on. That's right. Hallelujah. Put the next scripture up there for me, Sister Trudy. Hallelujah. We've got to get delivered from this. You know where we got it in church? Yeah, right. yeah. 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 Anybody going to help me? Yeah. I said, we got this at church. Yeah. Yeah. We got it for feel sorry for me preaching. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. The preaching of the cross to them that perish foolishness. But to us that are saved, it is the power of God and the salvation. Yeah. And some of us need to be saved just from this right here. Yeah. Yeah. Our sin has become this rope. Our mistake has become this rope. Our excuse has become this rope. Our testimony is no longer that we are delivered, but we're hanging on for dear life. We need to get rid of it and get back on the is anybody in this place? My God, in, in God is my salvation, my glory, and the rock of my strength. Right. My refuge is in God. Yeah. This is the rock of your strength right here. This is where you will run and not be weary. You will walk and not faint. This is where you'll get your eagle's wings right here. Yeah. You will never get your eagle's wings hanging on for dear life. Yeah. You will yeah. get weary. You'll get tired. You will not read your Bible. People that hang on to the rope, they don't have the strength to read the Bible during the week. Yeah. They can't come to the four different services available for them to hear the Word of God because they're hanging on. They need other things to give them joy. They need other things to make them happy because they're hanging on. Oh, I wish I could get somebody to help me. Just going to be with me in the house of God because they're just hanging on. I'm hanging on, brother. Shut up and quit hanging on and start standing on. Hallelujah. Yeah. God is my the rock of my strength. Yes. This yes. is me yes. and only me hanging on to a lie. Right. Hanging on. Right. Right. Yeah. Hanging on. Hallelujah. I am going to get tired a little bit. Amen. I am going to give out. I am going to quit reading my Bible. I am going to quit praying. I am going to say this don't work. I am, if I'm living like this, I am going to get weary of well doing and not read for a new season. I am, I am going to stay sick. I am going to stay in financial lack because I'm using my strength in this relationship. And it's only Him. Yeah. It's only Him. It's only Him. It's only Him. Is anybody listening to me? Amen. Is anybody getting something from me? This is what i got to get rid of. Give me the next scripture, Sister Trudy. How are you getting something? I'm almost through. Almost through. Stay with me. Stay with me. I say unto me, thee that thou art Peter, and on this rock I'll build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against you. It's not with this rope I'm going to build my church. It's not with this rope that you hang on to that I'll build my church. It's when you get rid of this rope, and on this rock I'll build my church. Yeah. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The gates of hell can prevail against this. Hell can tear you up if you're hanging on. But if you get rid of hanging on and start standing on the rock, hallelujah, Jesus Christ. The gates of hell cannot prevail. Having no more to stand your stand. Put the helmet of salvation on. With your breastplate of righteousness on. With the Lord's turning the heaven truth. 
glory. Take your feet shot in the preparation of the gospel of Come peace. On. But that's the sword of the spirit. Yeah. Above all, taking the shield of faith. You're not going to go down. You're not going to hang on. You're going to be using the weapons of the Lord's hand. I'm not going to Hallelujah. Oh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put the next one up here. Hallelujah. Trudy, have you with me? Say amen. 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 We've got to get delivered from this rope. Yes. Yes. <laughs> we take it all over town. We take it to work with us. Yeah. We tell it to each other on the telephone. Yeah. How you doing? I'm hanging on. Yeah. Right. 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 Say it at home. Well, I'm hanging on. Mm -hmm. You don't tell me the truth, Ruth. Yes. I'm hanging on. I'm hanging on. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation of stone. A tried stone. Oh. Ah, a, tried a tried stone. stone. Yes. Jesus didn't hang on either. No, no, He did A tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation, and he that believeth shall not make haste. Have you with me? Say amen. 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 First Peter 2, 6, Wherefore also is contained in the Scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion, a chief cornerstone, elect, precious. He that believes on Him shall not be confounded or confused. If I stay like this, I'll stay confused. If I stay like this, I won't know what to do. I don't know where to go because I, I can't have no direction because I'm hanging on. I can't get nowhere because I'm hanging on. That's right. Uh, is anybody in this place? Lord. Put the next scripture up there, Sister Trudy. Unto you therefore which believe he is precious, but unto them that be disobedient. <coughs> and this is disobedience. Amen. This has become, this is the stone that the builders disallowed, but the same is the head of the corner. Yeah. Right. If I'm disobedient, I won't get on it. It becomes a stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. So when I go to try to read my Bible, I just stumble over the Word of God. So I go back to the road. When I go to the Word of God, I stumble on it. I don't understand it. The devil tells me in my mind, I don't understand it. When the Bible says that he writes it on the tables of your heart. Yeah. He writes it on the tables of your heart. Hallelujah. You don't have to understand it. You just got to read it. Faith coming by hearing. Is anybody with me? Yeah. The reason I hang on to the rope is because when I go to the rock, I stumble, I falter. Uh, I can get offended. I go to church and I get offended because the preacher tells me that I need to be in church. I need to quit going camping so much. It's all right to camp, but I need to some church. Yeah. Come on. Right. Yeah. I didn't say it's not. I didn't say it's wrong to go camping. But if that man of yours or that woman of yours is, a, is susceptible to addictions, you don't need to go camping. You need to be in church. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 That's the truth. Glory to God. If your mind's under attack, I'm going to tell you there ain't a fish in the world even with money in its mouth that's going to help your mind. <laughs> money in the mouth will just help you get back to church. Hallelujah. <laughs> Let me understand what I'm trying to tell you. Yes. That if I'm not careful, I'm hanging on for dear life. And I want you to look around this building because I've had so many people hanging on and they've lost their strength and they're not here. If they all would have been here, we'd have to have three services this morning. Right. You'd have had to sing right. three different services right. for me right. to be able to minister to everybody. Right. And I've lost so many of them because right. some fool right. told them to hang on. Right. Right. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yes. Can I get a witness? Yeah. Yeah. Some idiot told them to hang on. That's because they were. Somebody addicted to the rope can only lead you to the rope. Somebody bound to the rope can only lead you to the rope. But somebody that's been set free from the rope. Neither 
count out my life dear to myself. Because right here is where I win Christ. Because He is the rock. And His work is perfect. And all of His ways are judgment. And a God of truth without iniquity. Just and right is He. But first of all, before He can be all that, He's got to be the rock. Before He can establish my goings, I have to be on the rock. You have to get on this rock for your going to be established. God will not mess with your rock until you're on the rock. Come on. He will not get any glory where you will sink. He will not get any glory where you will fail. He will not get any glory out of your up and down, sinking, getting out, sinking, getting out life. He wants the glory. So he wants you to get on the rock. 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 Hallelujah. Lord, we rebuke every rope. We rebuke everything we're hanging on to. We rebuke everything we're hanging on to. I heard Fred Price, I gotta quit. I heard Fred Price say one time that they told him faith was hanging on. And when they went, when the bank came to repossess his car, he decided to hang on. <laughs> And they drug him down the road. <laughs> How many of you are tired of being drug around? Yeah. Yeah. Drug yeah. around by something. Yeah. If you're being drug around by something, it means you are hanging on. Yeah. You need to let go yeah. and get back to the rock. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And it's not hang on, it's stand on. Yeah. Yeah.